Hey designer, Alex here, welcome to the channel and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to use stacks in Adobe XD to create responsive cards just like this one. We are also going to prototype it and I'm going to show you how to adjust your layout to go from desktop view to mobile view in just a few clicks. So let's get started. All right, so here is the practice file for today's tutorial. If you want to get this practice file, make sure to check out the link in the description down below to follow along. Now, what I have right here is the card. And before that, we have the R port, which is 1920 by 1080. You can use any kind of dimensions that you want. We also have 12 columns with a gutter width of 50, which is sort of a default size I use for all of my YouTube tutorials. But as I said, you can use any kind of size that you want. You need these columns in order to create responsive cards. And to show you that, you can see right here that this card is taking up four columns in width. And speaking about the card, we have some colors right here we have some character styles right here and these uh, character styles are Roboto which is a free Google font and you can find it on Adobe fonts as well. What we have in terms of the structure is we have the folder called the card. This image is free image from Unsplash and if I double click inside of it inside of the mask you can see it goes out of bounds a little bit which is fine because we want to adjust it a little bit later when we create that responsive card content. Speaking about the content we have the folder called content right here and these are the two sizes which I previously mentioned of Roboto font. We have 20 bold right here and we have 12 regular right here. Now speaking about these you can see that if I hover right here you can see that this uh, title is auto width but if I select this paragraph text and hover right here it's fixed size. What this means is I can move it around like this and I can even expand it further if I want to. You can see when I hover right here what I have is I have stacks included inside. So this stack goes to this direction and it's 30 in a distance but you can create any kind of stack that you want. So what I can do is use this content and turn it into a stack. You can see that it goes into this direction and if I click right here you can see that the 40 is distance between these two. So now when I flip it around you can see that we got this far but I'm not actually going to do that so let's go control command Z to go back and let's uncheck the stack because I want to make it manually. So how to do that? It's quite simple. So as I said, we have the stack for the content and you can see if I uncheck the padding so we don't have any issues later because I want to change um, the corner radius of this image. Card background is this white uh, bit in the background and it has corner radius of 10 on all four corners but image has corner radius of 10 on just top left corner right here and if I have right here bottom left corner which is this one and you want that because you can see that this line is straight and it works with the card a little bit better. So to get us started what I'm going to do is hit control command K on my keyboard to turn this into a component. I'm going to click on the plus and click new state and I'm going to call it for example mobile and you want to do this and you want to create these responsive cards just because you want to create responsive layouts later. So let's say that this is for the huge screens because it's 1920 by 1080 but what you're going to do if you have for example 800 width which is for the tablet for example or even smaller than that something like 350 or 375 which is for the mobile that's when this feature comes in handy. So now that we are on mobile what you can do is you can turn this into a stack as I mentioned simply select the entire content inside turn it into a stack but you have to do it in the default state not in this new state for the mobile. What I'm going to do right here is simply double click inside of it and adjust it to be two columns wide for example just for the sake of this tutorial obviously you're going to work with your sizes and I'm going to click right here adjust this to something like here and what I'm going to do is select my image. You can see uh, height is 250, which is quite tall. I'm going to move it to something like this maybe. And you can see now we have this issue with this corner. So I'm going to get rid of this corner, go to zero. And I'm going to introduce the corner radius on the top right corner, which is this one. So select 10 and now it's going to fit right here. I'm also going to move this image just slightly, perhaps adjust it a little bit more or even better, maybe I can zoom it in a little bit 
something like this just so that we have a much better effect later on there we go and now because the distance between these elements if i select them is 30 you can see them right here let's adjust it to here so shift one two three for 30 pixels from this edge 20 and 10 works just fine or you can even position it in the center if you want to and now we have 15 on each side so the next thing we're going to do is adjust this and because it's in a stack so we are going to have this uh, official language right here i'm going to you can see if i extend it further the entire stack is going to follow same thing goes for this one so if i type in and type in something and go to the new line you can see that the stack is adjusting nicely which is the beautiful feature of stacks in adobe xd one final change i want to make is to this button because i want to make it a tad narrower something like this because now we have a little bit less uh, content area to work with and finally i want to adjust the height of this card to 30 so something like this let's zoom in just a tad so we are at 30 there we go and now that we have this card we can go to prototyping so once again this is the mobile version this is the default version and you can see how it looks like and how it works so switch over to prototype mode and in my case i'm just going to select the image and make it as a trigger i'm going to click right here then use tap auto animate from here I'm going to go to the mobile for my destination because I want to transition to mobile. I'm going to use ease in out, but you can use snap or wind up or even bounce for that extra bit of effect. And I'm going to choose one second for the duration, which I found is quite good. It's not too short, but it's also not too long. So next up, go to mobile. And in this case, I'm going to select the text as my content, click right here and go the other way around. So settings are going to be exactly the same but I'm just going to choose default state for this case. Switch on over to default state, control command enter to go into preview mode. And now when I click on my image, you can see how the effect looks like. So once again, click right here, click on the text to go back and you can see in real time how the text adjusts and also how the button is going to expand in width just a little bit to accommodate for this lack of space. So there we go, that's it for today's tutorial. You can see in this example how stacks can be really useful when you're working with responsive layouts in Adobe XD. Once again, if you want to get the practice file to follow along this tutorial, make sure to check out the link down in the description below. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you found value in it. If you did, make sure to press the like button down below and also make sure to subscribe not to miss out on future content because I upload new videos every single week on this channel all about Adobe XD design, passive income techniques and so much more. So if you found that content interesting, make sure to subscribe and until next time, take care.